Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out the Random Groove Generator Pro by Audio Modern. This is a fantastic Max for Live device that actually really creates grooves for you. Uh, you can load up to four different audio files at any one time. To do that, you just gotta click right here and choose whatever you want. I've got four random ones loaded here. I didn't even pick or choose. I just loaded them randomly. And all we need to do now is hit some of these randomized buttons. And we've got lots of control over the randomness, but we don't really need it because it just sounds fantastic every time. So we've got steps, pitch, and volume on this page. The steps is gonna be where the actual samples are triggered. The pitch is going to be the pitch of the sample as transposed from its original root key and the volume is gonna be how loud it happens. We actually have control over those if we wanna come in and manually adjust anything. If I wanna add something right here, change the key of it and adjust the volume, simple enough to do, or I can just hit the random button. So I can hit the random button up here, which is gonna randomize for all four tracks, or I can come in and randomize just for one track individually as well. Now for the pitch, I found it very useful to use the ranges here. So I'm saying between the range of F2 and C4, don't go below that or above that. And I find that's very useful when you're dealing with percussion because sometimes it will like transpose to C1 and it just sounds like, you know, muffled nothingness. Uh, so just keep that in mind, that's there. You can also set the ranges for the volume as well and the number of steps that are gonna come out. So you can see that I have six here, I hit that random button and now I have six steps for each of those. So I can adjust how many come out. You know what I'm saying? I can come up to 10 if I wanted to, so it'd be a little bit more uh, aggressive in there. But that's very helpful if you're gonna be doing it one for the other. So let's say you have a hi-hat here. Uh, you can easily come in, you can you know clear the pitching this is the r is for reset so that way you wouldn't be pitching anything but i mean just come in and just click some of these things we can change that maybe bring this one down a little more sparse let's see what that sounds like i've just clicked a bunch of randomized parameters let's see what we have now You can see that it still sounds good. <laughs> I haven't even, I wasn't even paying attention to what I was doing and it still sounds phenomenal. So before we talk about some more of these global controls, I just wanna show you that there is a second page here. If you hit that A, you'll get changed to the B page where we have the filtering system. So we've got the filter frequency, we've got the Q value and so on. So if I click right here and now hit the randomize, I'm gonna randomize with the page that I'm looking at. If I jump back into A and hit randomize, I'm gonna randomize just this page, but not this page. If I wanna randomize both pages at the same time, I gotta click this L, which means link, and this will randomize both pages. Still sounds good. Uh, if I wanna reset this page, I just gotta click this big R right here. If I wanna reset both pages at the same time, I gotta link again and hit R, and now both pages are reset. And that's the R's and the L's are the same down here. So if I wanna reset right here, just gotta click R. But if I wanna reset both pages, click the L and then click R. We also have the global speed right here. We've got, you know, 130 second up to one bar. So it depends on how much you want that to go. We also have a global shuffle amount. You see that it's changing all of the shuffles down here, but each lane has its own shuffle amount if you wanna change it individually. Each one of the lanes also has its own speed as well. If you wanna change up some of these. So let's say I like this. What I can do is actually come up here and click this three and hit save. And it's gonna save all of these settings for me. If I come over here, hit the random button again, let's see what that sounds like. Let's say I like that, just come over here and hit save. But if I wanna go back to that last pattern, I can. Any of these other ones I've saved. Easy enough to do. Uh, we do have some, Global filtering here, low pass, band pass, high pass. 
We do have global attack decay panning and volume, or we have individual t attack decay panning and volume, and we have the start position, very nice graphically shown right there, and we can reset any of these parameters as well. So, I mean, lots and lots of control, very easy to create great sounding stuff, and the fact that once you find something close and you wanna do some fine tuning on individual step-by-step -step basis, you could just come in and do that easily enough as well. So this is an incredible tool for generative music processing. Uh, it does the job for you, and then it allows you to tweak what you wanna tweak. I'm very impressed by this, and I highly suggest checking it out. There's a link in the video description. It's Random Groove Generator by Audio Modern. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique, and I will see you in the next video. Video.